Zero! I thought you said you were going to get these done sooner! What gives? Well, for starters, I was still working on this list at that time, and all my brain power and over two terabytes of data were used for said list. And even after getting it done, the motivation to get a video out that was going to die at launch was hard to get around. But I told a number of people that I was still working on it, and I didn't want to cancel it, especially with the title that was announced in this one. But if I ever go two months late on one of these, then you can expect the video to be cancelled. So I'm basically doing a speedrun of this, so I can get back to work on the other videos. Splatoon 3 Side Order launches Spring 2024. They emphasize being able to replay this mode again and again. It takes place in the Spire of Order, and this is Side Order, but I thought Chaos won the Splatoon 2 final split. Ah, it must be an uprising thing. Already have it, so I can't say much more. Mario vs. Donkey Kong! There were rumors we'd get a new DK game before the Direct, and then they were quickly corrected to be another Mario vs. Donkey Kong game, and my expectations died on the spot. Still, I wasn't expecting a remake of the first one. I actually have that on the GBA, but I'm not sure if I really need this or not, so it's just barely on my radar. Prince of Persia Lost Crown! I never got into the Prince of Persia series, so to the fans out there, I hope you enjoy it. But for me, it's not even a blip. Horizon Chase 2. I think I'm going to pass on this one. The visual art style looks nice, but I'm not really into cars all that much, unless they have something going for them like arcade racers, or something like the Burnout series, and even then, it was a casual on-sale purchase. Not even a blip. Super Crazy Rhythm Battle. It's made by Konami, and there were Castlevania tracks in there. If I see a Bomberman track that isn't from Hero, then I might pick it up. I'll just be waiting to hear more info on it. Spy Anya Operation Memories. I've seen a few episodes of Spy Family, and while it can be cute, I haven't really kept up with it. It looks nice, but I don't think I'll be getting it. Super Mario RPG. The improved combat system can let you hit all the targets at once. You can raid fight the bosses in post-game, and there are now super moves! I've already pre-ordered this one. Another Code Recollection. Yet another rumor turned true. A DS and Wii remake were rumored to be in this direct, and here they are! But I know nothing about this series, and I've got a ton of other games to get to, so, um, yeah, not even a blip. Princess Peach Showtime. The title for this game was also leaked in one of those rumors, so, uh, this is a very good track record for the leaker at the moment. I can't say I've been dying to play a Princess Peach game. This looks like something I would get my niece as a gift. Still, the game doesn't look bad at all, but I need more info on it. Saga Emerald Beyond. I think I'll pass. I'm sorry. It's just, I'm just not interested. Tomb Raider Remastered. I never played the originals, but this was an important piece of gaming culture back in the day. I like that you can have the original and upgraded graphics to switch between, and it comes with all the expansions and secret levels. But for now, it's just barely on my radar. The next four, I'm just going to read off. Detective Pikachu Returns, Trombone Champ, Battle Crush, and War Tales. Contra Operation Galuga, a remastering of the first Contra game with four-player co-op with new power-ups, new enemies, new stages, and new bosses as well! Just say it has online, and I'll pre-order it when I can! Otherwise, I'll just keep an eye on it for now. Unicorn Overlord. Can't help but chuckle at that name. Looks nice, but once again, I've got other games to get to, so, uh, yeah. Luigi's Mansion 2 HD. I have the 3DS version. It was okay, but I'm not jumping for joy for this one. Let me know when it's Kid Icarus Uprising HD. And now for something that I can't own, but can pay to go see. The Nintendo Museum. Sounds fun. I'd visit it if I had the opportunity to. Amiibo News! Zelda and Ganondorf Tears of the Kingdom Amiibo versions. I don't think I really need these, as I already have two versions of Zelda and one of Ganondorf. But for those who weren't able to get them, well, there you go. Though I might still keep an eye on it. Xenoblade Chronicles 3, Noah and Mio. I don't even know if I said the names right, I'm sorry. This is one of the six unopened Switch games I have. Like I said, I've fallen behind on a lot of things. But now that I have the game, I might keep an eye on it. Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Sora! Pre-ordering when I can! Finally, the naysayers can put a cork in it! What I'm really looking forward to is the print underneath, as I'm sure it'll say copyright Disney, character designer Tetsuya Nomura. And I'm pretty sure there's going to be no mention of Square Enix. I am very positive Square Enix just makes the games. If Disney wanted to, they could take the license away whenever they want. But that would be pretty stupid and ruin a good thing. Thankfully, it seems like Disney Japan is a smart part of the business. F-099. Already downloaded. 
there were rumors of a new F-Zero, as well as with people accurately guessing that it would be a Battle Royale game. It's free and fun, so who wouldn't download it? I'm hoping this is used as a way to get people to remember the series, and then if a remaster of GX shows up, well, this helped to get new people interested. We've got a few left, so let's get through this rapid fire. Bandeltel, a League of Legends story. Song of New New, a League of Legends story. WarioWare Move It. I'm likely getting this one, but I might wait for a price drop or sale. Eudin Chronicle 100 Heroes. Eastward Octopia. Wargroove 2. And Dave the Diver. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe DLC Final Wave! Already an NSO expansion player, but happy to see that not only are Diddy and Funky back, but there were even more that we weren't expecting! Guess data mining doesn't give us everything. Among Us, the fungal map. Got to play this map a bit, and, uh, it's interesting. You can't turn off the lights as imposter, but you can use the spores to mess up everyone's outfits and even hide their names so no one knows who is who. I hate the fish cooking minigames here. They take way too long. However, it does seem like your progress continues if you're interrupted, so that's something. Honestly, this just isn't enough. It really needed a big update such as more roles, another game mode, and possibly even another map to help get more people playing and talking about it again. This is nice, but I'm worried it won't last more than just a few days. And finally, the rumors are confirmed! At long last there is a remaster or a remake of Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door! When I first saw it, I couldn't even remember the details correctly! I wasn't sure if this was a remake of the first game or TTYD! Heck, I even thought it was done by Alpha Dream for a moment there, before reminding myself that it's Intelligence System. This is the game that made the Direct for so many fans! As for me, yeah, I'm looking forward to it, but I had always hoped that if it did get remade or remastered or whatever, that they would add a new game plus for it, or something akin to the Great Shop from the Tales of series. I personally don't like spending 40 hours in a game and then be told that all that leveling up was just for the final boss and maybe one other thing. I know a lot of people have this as maybe in their top 5 favorite GameCube games, and I completely understand why. For me, it's in my top 20, but more replay could push it to top 10 or 5 as well. The thing that really excites me the most about this is that it's another GameCube remaster! We've had Metroid Prime, ports of Pikmin 1 and 2, remaster of Byte and Kaidos, and now this! The rumored F-Zero GX remaster is almost certainly on the way! We basically just had to wait for the Wind Waker and Twilight Princess HDs to get announced. And I'm really hoping we get even more in the future, like maybe Star Fox Assault with massive improvements and online? If Paper Mario gets New Game Plus, I'll pre-order it! If not, well, I'm still very likely getting this. Last time I didn't have the Discord say what was on their radar, because I was afraid it would just be nothing but Mario Wonder or Mario RPG. This time, Let's just say it all at once. Paper Mario! And that's all that needs to be said about that. This Direct had some nice surprises such as F-099 and obviously Paper Mario. Getting confirmation on the Sora amiibo feels like I can take a relaxing breath again. Don't care if it's only one alt and it comes out in random 2024. It's announced and that's all I asked for before. I'll happily wait for further announcements on it. Sure, I would love to see a brand new DKC game announced, and especially one more roadmap for the N64 expansion. Heck, we just recently got Mario Party 3! But look who's talking. I've got a number of other projects to get back into, such as this list. And, well, a number of others that I'll be catching up on in some original videos that I haven't mentioned yet. So with that said, tell me how excited you were for the Paper Mario announcement, or anything else that was there, and I hope to see you guys very soon with another video. Later, everyone!